What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So in today's episode, we're gonna try to make a fully 3D printed jet pump. Something that we could put into an RC boat or something like that. Now here's the deal. I'm in an RV park, as you can tell. A nice one actually, because it's got some nice boats here. And I got somewhat of limited resources. I'm not at the workshop, as you can tell. So what I got here is a 3D printer. And then I got a screwdriver set, these uh, cutters, and I got like an old hot glue gun. And obviously I got a some electronics or whatever for the boat itself. That's about it. So I started off by looking up what one of these jets looks like. And I was actually just gonna order one off of Amazon, but it was gonna take a couple weeks for shipping and it was gonna hit me with $40 of damage. So I thought, hey, maybe I could make my own and potentially save some money. And then I proceeded designing something for a couple of hours and got absolutely nowhere. The design was starting to seem challenging and maybe I should have just ordered one online. But no, I was not gonna give up that early. So I spent more time watching tutorials on how to use the designing software, and this is what I came up with. So I put it onto the 3D printer, and we were off. The first component's construction was underway, but then this happened. But this wasn't so bad. I fixed it, and it was printing again. Until it wasn't. And now for the third time, three times a charm, it was actually working. I took a trip to Ace Hardware and, well, got some hardware for the project. All right, here it is. Check that out. Not bad, not bad. Here's the other thing, limited resources. I don't have a camera stand, so you're gonna have to bear with me here. We'll just set the phone down. Oh my God, did I break it? At this moment, I thought I broke it, but it was just a support that broke off, so it was perfectly fine. Oh no, okay, that was just a support. I thought I actually broke it there for a second. Okay, I found the first flaw of the design. For some reason, there's a gap. Now, I don't know if I just ripped it off. Well, there we go. That's gonna just have to be hot glued closed. Otherwise, not too bad. All right, the next print is underway. 11% done, let's go. All right, here are the next parts. Look at that. They look good. All right, so this piece just printed. We've got the propeller right here. So we're gonna see if this thing fits. And look at that. Oh, okay. Not bad, not bad. You look there, you can see there's a little bit of play, but honestly, I think it's gonna be fine. So now we're gonna assemble the actual jet pump. Here's the back piece, here's this, and propeller supposed to go through like that and this needs to be screwed on to here and if you're wondering how we're gonna screw it on I bought this cool tool off of Amazon and apparently you can melt in inserts into your 3d designs and then you can screw and screw it in so we're gonna try that All right, there we go. We got the bearing in. I'm put this propeller with the shaft inside just like that. Moment of truth. Is this gonna work? So I got three out of the four screws in properly. You know, it's not absolutely perfect at all, but this video is on a time crunch because we just started printing yesterday. Um, or was it Friday? Maybe it was Friday. One of the problems, obviously it's not perfectly lined up. That's just a little bit of a mess there. Don't even worry about that. Um, but if I spin the shaft here, this thing, I can hear it. So it does touch a little bit, but that's not much of a, you know, a big problem because we'll hook the motor up and we'll just spin it really fast until it doesn't touch anymore. Yep, that one did not work. Look at that. Okay, let's try this again. So I just made this little piece here out of uh, flexible filament it's called TPU. And I'm just gonna shove that over top of this shaft here, like that. And the motor is gonna mesh up to the other side. We're gonna glue this down and we should be good to go. 
All right, so these bottom screws sort of failed when I tried to put them in. Uh, the top one sort of worked, so I just put some glue on here to make sure the motor didn't move. We glued this down, sealed up that crack that was here. Now we're gonna plug in the battery and see what happens. The motor's going the wrong direction, so I'm just going to switch to these cables. We'll check that out. That does feel like it might fly apart, but you know what? It works. So if it works, it works. So I ended up printing this green box here just to test out the jet. So I put it all together, put it into the sink, and quite a bit of water was coming in. So I thought maybe it was coming in from that little crack that we saw earlier that I uh, filled with glue. So I ended up building a new jet pump, one that looked a little bit sleeker, better design. Put it back into a box. All right, we're gonna go ahead and plug this in and test it out. Wow, yes. Oh, this, this motor's getting wet. Water is getting in here somehow. So I just found out the boat's not leaking from any of the gaps. It's actually leaking right through the plastic. And I Googled it and yeah, PLA is not really waterproof necessarily. I mean, you could make it if you make it completely solid. I guess it would be then. Um, but this one apparently has enough gaps that water just seeps through the side. So I'm gonna see if we can find a temporary solution so we don't have to print a whole new boat. All right, so I have all the electronics hooked up. We got a remote. And here is our testing grounds. So we're gonna go ahead and put it in and see what this jet can do. All right, so that's a wrap. Um, the motor pretty much got wet and uh, is not really functioning properly. Um, but I don't have time to grab a new one just yet. That's gonna be in the next video. All right guys, so the jet pump worked actually pretty good until the motor got wet and then it started, started acting funny. Um, so that's it for today's video. In the next one, maybe we'll build a bigger jet pump, bigger motor and put it into like an RC boat, like an RC jet boat or something. Let me know in the comments what you want to see me make next. Uh, but that's the end of today's video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Don't wanna sleep in, cause I got something to prove. I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move. I think of you and all the